today's job is disassemble it all and wax it all and fix it all back together because I think we are somewhere close now. Uh, oh, I've got to get some brackets to fix it back to the wall. So I'll go and look for them first. I need to make sure I've got them. But that third one down, I've got to, I'm going to rip another half an inch off that one. So remind me to do that when I get round to it. Now, being a hoarder has its advantages. I hoard things, which means I'm not going to buy anything. So I found my brackets. like it's going to be that one seems fairly low profile sneak them in at the back Hello, babe. What are you doing? Solid that. Right, so we're all glued up in place. Nice, tight fit. That's all solid, ready for books. The next job is actually to treat it with some. I've got some furniture wax that could do it, but it won't be today because it's nearly time for a barbecue.
Now we've got our installation complete, I'm going to put some wax on. So we've got this one, it's just a food grade wax it calls it. And it does tend to colour it up a little bit, but I've tested a piece and to be fair it doesn't colour it up that much. And I think with the wax it'll just help to bring out the chestnut colours a little bit better. So I'm going to start at the top and see how we go. Got a bit gooey inside. What it does is that the wax skims over. Pretty gross. Reminds me of the skin you used to get on Blamange as kids. For that reason, I don't eat Blamange. Yeah, look at it. Mm. That's my tub of wax gone anyway. I bet when you're up close like that you can see all the perfect imperfections, can't you? <laughs> We're going for the overall effect rather than uh, fine cabinet joinery. What we'll do is we'll leave that overnight, let that soak in a bit and then get a dry rag in the morning. Give it a little bit of light buff so that there's no sort of waxy, gooey, sticky residue anymore on the timbers. Then it'll be a case of getting all the books out of the attic, filling it up. Can't wait for that bit. Sort of been waiting for that for about a year to get this finished. It's a good job done. Oh, that's all puffed off. Around the bottom of here there'll be a skirting board return and round. I've got to fill this wall, sand and fill it um, and it will be better done before the book's gone because sanding and filling while the books are on is going to make a right mess of the books. I just want to get the books on the shelf but can't. a bit carried away the other day and just uh, decided just to splash a first coat on that wall which I did interesting one because it's got a lot of lime um, I can't what it's called now lime plaster and it's almost like a chalky paint it's quite soft so when you paint over it, it the moisture in the emulsion loosens off the um, like chalky paint it comes off in flakes you paint over it and it just seems to flake off like that so I really don't know how well this is going to key really. Anyway, so I'm going to give it a second coat.
white bits are there. A bit there, look. Oh, it's lifted there. The smallest job is to fill up the bookshelves with books out of the attic. And I've seen on YouTube there is, could only be described as like a magic special click. So you click your fingers and the job gets done. So I'm going to actually try that this morning. So here goes. Oh. I'm not very good at clicking, hang on. Nothing happened then. Oh, nothing happened then, hang on. Hang on a sec, I think. Ellie Ray, have you got a magic click? Dad, Can you try it? Dad, no, no, no. You have to get the technique, Go right? on then. <gasps> no See? way! Look, I told you! That's amazing! How'd you do that? Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Even magic to little picture into man. That is, uh, that's me when I was about eight years old. Similarities? No, I don't know, I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> All the books in. We've even got a bit of spare space. So I have to buy some more books now. That got was so easy. Craft shelf with all the craft books on. And, and then we've got photo albums. Photo albums, here. yeah. I'm not sure what these are. So we'll just stand back for the overall effect. So welcome to the attic space and the complete utter chaos. So all of the books were in this area here. So what I thought was I'm going to clear the space going across this direction over towards that corner, uh, put the underlay down, staple it in, then get some carpet, roll that down and then do the next strip which will be there staple that down put the carpet down and then I can start putting things back but um, if we can get started and just get a couple of bits done I am NOT a carpet fitter that is one job I wouldn't really enjoy that will make me feel better over here so let's do it we've got some uh, mountain bike rides here look look at all them 2010. What did I earn in 2010? Turn over, 23,000. Profit, 15. Actually better than I thought. When was that? 2010, 2011. In the good old days of gardening. I used to earn money. 